Here's my, my home lot, which you've all seen before. I'm in the process of moving it and all that good stuff, but what I got here is a Cisco 2620. It looks good, you know, it powers on, but the iOS will not load. And I go to enter in the keyboard, it's giving me all types of gibberish. And so after researching, it makes more sense just to get rid of this router than to do anything else. So what I wanna do is take all the cards out, take this card out here, and then probably I'll take this card out here and I'll try and keep those and I'll just throw the router away. A lot of times we'll go to eBay and you look for Cisco Home Labs and they may cost, you know, three, four hundred dollars. So you may find some good deals. Like here's one for three hundred bucks. Here's another for, you know, close to four hundred bucks. You can also find um, like routers and switches by themselves. The problem with that is the shipping will cost a ton. I think the shipping for this item is, let's see how much the shipping. You'll have to calculate it. So if we do, let's say where I'm from in Ohio, the shipping rate for this will be $104 on top of the already $299. So that's crazy. And the same for Amazon. If you're looking for Cisco Home Labs, $300. And then let's we'll see how much the shipping is for this one. Now the shipping for this one is actually free. So that's a little better. But what I like to use is um, Craigslist along with, you know, asking people at my job and people I may know for um, Cisco home lab equipment, CCNA equipment, CCNP equipment. But if you go on Craigslist, what you'll have to do is find your location Wherever that may be, we'll use, um, let's say, Ohio, if I can find it. Okay, so we'll go down here to Akron Canton. And then what I usually do is just type in Cisco, and everything will come up that's in that area. I usually look for the ones with pictures. I don't really mess around with anything else. But um, here are the prices here. Here's actually, you know, uh, a 3560 um, for 35 bucks. And a lot of times you can talk people down on, on here. Here's those are like 35, what are those 3550s or 2960s? Let's see. So these are, there's a 3500, there's a 3560. And you'll have to con contact them for, I guess, the prices. There's a 150. But you know, you don't pay shipping with these devices. And then also, like I said, here's the 2600 router, 400 bucks. I've seen a lot better prices than that. Let's keep looking somewhere else. So let's say like, um, let's change the location. Let's go back. Let's go back and let's do, let's see. Let's go to Missouri and let's go to St. Louis. And let's type in Cisco. And once we type in Cisco, there's an 800 series router for 60 bucks. There's another one. Um, they're still there. Here's a 2620 router, and it's only 20 bucks. So this is actually a great deal. This is what I'm saying. You can actually use this for your CCNA, CCNP to ask them about this device. Or you will have to call them or text them. And then once I do that, you know, I would take the proper measures to meet that person, whether it be at um, a gas station, close to, I would say, a police station or something like that. Take someone with you, just be wise. But yeah, that's just a quick um, rundown on how you can find Cisco gear on Craigslist or Amazon or eBay. I'll catch up with you when guys shortly. When you're buying a router, what you need to do is test it to make sure um, connectivity is good and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna take my laptop this real quick using one hand so I'll unplug that I'll probably take an extra power cord I got my extra power cord I got my cords here let me wrap these up real quick and I 
I got my consultation. So this is everything that you'll need whenever you're testing out equipment. And I'll throw this in my bag. And I should be good to go. Hopefully this goes well. And I'll come back with a new router. Alright, so I'm just at home. It's late. So I probably uh, won't be hooking up this today. It'll probably be tomorrow. But I got my router. As you can see, I tested it out. I thought it had 12.0, but it actually has, uh, I think, what? I mean, I thought it had 15.0, but it actually has like 12.2 or something like that. But he gave me some compact flash that I can actually um, put in here and upgrade it. And as you can see, I just want to show you real quick. It's an 1800 series router, 1841. There you go. Alright, so it's, I'm still getting used to recording it with this camera. It has a mind of his own. But yeah, that's the front of the router. And here it is. And it's actually too um, thin. Well, what, what would that be? It's, I don't know. It's the width of it actually will be too thin for my rack, so I probably put this one downstairs so I can use it that way. But yeah, it's an 1841 um, router. And like I said, he gave me some larger compact flash to go in here. Um, this is 32 megabytes, and I believe he gave me 256 or something, so I can upgrade it to 15.0. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow. We'll test it out and maybe even upgrade it or something in another video. So, yeah, I'm about to go to bed. I was out watching this first NFL game. Shout out to the Browns. Let's go.